everyone, my name is Katya and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this tote bag. It's very easy to make. All you need to do is make a granny square and singe it together with single crochets and you have yourself a bag. And this is how it looks like on the inside. So let's get to it and create something great. For this project I'm using acrylic yarn. It's a number four. I do recommend for you to use cotton yarn. You're also going to need five and a half millimeter crochet hook and scissors and a tapestry needle. Let's slip knot to start. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into our first chain to create a ring. I'm gonna be working my tail in so I can tighten my center. Let's chain three. One, two, three. This chain three stands as a first double crochet. Let's go ahead and double crochet two more times into the ring. Here's one and two. Chain two and work three double crochets into the ring. Let's chain two and work three double crochets back into the ring. Here's one, two, and three. Chain two and work three more double crochets. chain two and we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch on top of our third chain right over here so here's our round one so for round one we have four sets of double crochets worked and two chains in between into the chain two we're gonna be working our corners to make our granny square so let's go ahead and chain three and back into this space right here, we're going to be working two double crochets. So I'm going to go back into that space, work one double crochet, and work one more double crochet, like so. And then I'm going to jump into this chain two space right here and work three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. two and three chain two and work three double crochet back into this space right here here's one two and three and I'm going to repeat I'm going to go into this chain two space right here and work my next corner which is three double crochets chain two and three double crochets and I'm gonna do the same thing into this corner right here and I'll meet you to show you how we finish our round two here we worked on our three corners and we're gonna finish our fourth one so let's work three double crochets chain two and slip stitch on top of our third chain right over here like so so here you can see that we have our four corners worked for round three and the rest of the rounds we're going to start the same we're going to chain three and work two double crochets back into the space right here. Chain two 
Now we're going to work three double crochets in between our corners, right into the space right here. Next, let's work our corner. Let's work three double crochets into chain two space. Chain two and work three more double crochets back into chain two space. Now we need to work three double crochets right into the space right here. And that's the repeat. So next we're going to work a corner, which is three double crochet, chain two, three double crochets into the space. And into this space we're going to work three double crochets and we're going to repeat. So let's continue working and I'll meet you at the end of this round to show you how to finish this round. Okay, so here I just worked my three double crochets and into the space I'm going to work three double crochets. Chain two and slip stitch on top of our third chain right over here. This is how it looks like. For round four, let's chain three and work two double crochets back into the space. Now we're going to work three double crochets into this space right here and three double crochets into this space right over here. So each time we're going to have to put one extra three double crochets. And that's how our granny square will be growing. So here's three and I'm going to jump into this space right here and work my other three double crochets. And now I'm going to be working my corner which is three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets back into the space right here. And that's the repeat. So go ahead and work your three double crochets here, three double crochets here, and the corner and continue working and I'll meet you at the end to show you how to finish. I'm going to go ahead and work three double crochets. Chain two. And let's slip stitch on top of our third chain. And here we worked our round four. So for round five and all the way to round 21, you're going to repeat. You're just going to chain three, work two double crochets back into the space. Here's one and two. And then place your three double crochets into this space right here. Here's one, two, three, and then work your corner and continue working around and I'll be your round five and repeat the same thing for rounds five through 21. So continue working your rounds five through round 21 and I'll meet you at the end to show you what to do next. So here I worked my rounds and I have this big square if you want your bag to be smaller, you can do less rounds, or if you want your bag to be larger, you can continue making your square as big as you want it to be. For mine, I did 21 rounds, and that's more than enough for my bag. So to finish off, we're just going to do the same thing as we did before. So here I worked my one double crochet, and I'm going to work my second and third, and chain two. 
and slip stitch to end my round 21. Next thing what we need to do is cinch our top edge like so, so our bag is a little bit tighter. And the way to do that, we're going to work single crochet. So chain one and work one single crochet back into this chain two space right over here. And place one single crochet into this space right here where we worked our three double crochets. There's a space right here. Work your single crochet and repeat. So in each space, we're going to put one single crochet. So continue working, putting one single crochet, and I'll meet you at the end. So into this chain two space, we're going to work one single crochet, chain one, and turn your work. For row two, we're going to work one single crochet into our single crochets of the previous row. And that's all we're doing is just putting one single crochet. So continue working and I'll meet you at the end of row two. So let's chain one and for rows three all the way to rows eight, all you're going to do is work one single crochet. So just continue putting your one single crochet into each stitch and I'll meet you at the end of row eight. Here we worked our eight rows of single crochets and our top edge is finished. So let's go ahead and fasten off. Let's repeat the same thing on our other side. So to start, I'm just going to go ahead and bring my loop forward and here's my tail and my working yarn is here and I'm just going to chain one and work one single crochet back into this chain two space right here and I'm going to work my tail in so I can just cut it and I'll worry about sewing it so I'm just going to continue and work one single crochet the same way I did on my other edge. So just continue putting one single crochet and I'll meet you at the end of this row. So here I'm finishing up and I'm just going to go ahead and put one single crochet, chain one and turn our work. And for rows two all the way to row eight it's the same thing. We're going to go ahead and put one single crochet into each stitch like so. So continue working and I'll meet you at the end of row 8 and I'll show you what to do next. So here we finished our second edge so both edges are finished. The next thing we need to do is work on the strap and on the sides of the bag. So let's go ahead and chain 55 for our strap. So I'm just going to continue chaining 55 and I'll meet you at the end when I have 55 chains worked. Here I worked my 55 chains. You can go ahead and work more if you want to. You can make it 60 chain or 65. It's your choice. But I'm going to stop at 55. And now without twisting your chain, what we need to do is work one single crochet on the other side of our edge. So we started right over here and now we're just going to go ahead and work one single crochet right into this space right here. So I'm going to insert my hook into that shape, into that stitch and work one single crochet. And the next thing what we need to do is we're going to work one single crochet along this space right here. So these are the single crochets that we worked and we're just going to work, work one single crochet on the side right over here. So you should have eight single crochets. Now if you do less or more it doesn't matter, it's okay. So 
So once you worked your eight single crochet on this side, it brings us to this space right here. This is our granny square area. And what we need to do on this side is we're just going to put one single crochet the same way we did on the top edges right here. So we're going to do the same thing on the side. So I'm going to work one single crochet. Let me move this so you can see better. So here's our first one single crochet and then I'm going to jump over to this space right here and work one single crochet and repeat. So with each space in between our three double crochets we're going to work one single crochet. So continue working putting one single crochet and I'll meet you towards the end. So here I worked my last single crochet and I'm on this side now. So what we need to do is we need to repeat and work one single crochet into each space. So I'm going to put one here and then I'm just going to work one single crochet right along this side. So once we work our 8 single crochet here, we're going to go ahead and chain 55 again and that's going to be our second strap. So go ahead and chain 55. Check your chain to make sure it's not twisted and once you check it, so go ahead and put your hook right into this single crochet right over here and work one single crochet. And on this side now, we're going to work one single crochet again. And we're just repeating what we did on the other side. We're doing the same thing on this side. So now we're going to be working our single crochets right in between the three double crochets. So go ahead and put one single crochet into this space right here. And continue working putting one single crochet into each space between our three double crochets. And I'll meet you at the end to show you what to do next. So here I worked my single crochet into this space and then I'm just going to continue and putting one single crochet into this stitches right over here. Okay. So next thing what we need to do is we're going to put one single crochet into the chain that we worked um, for our strap. So let's go ahead and work one single crochet into our chain. And I'm taking my time here making sure I'm picking up my chain. Just going to work these tails in. So like that you're going to continue putting one single crochet into your chain and I'll meet you at the end of this chain to show you what to do next. So here I'm finishing up and I'm just going to go ahead and work one more single crochet and it leads me to this area right here and we're just going to continue and doing what we did before and round one is just putting one single crochet into each stitch around. What we need to do is we continue working one single crochet all along this edge right here on the side until we come to our strap and we're going to place one single crochet right 
along here and then just repeat and continue working one single crochet on the side until we get to here and I'll meet you once we're over here. So here we finished working our single crochets all around. So what we need to do next is for rounds three, four and five we're going to work one single crochet around and the reason why I say rounds three, four and five is because I count chain that we did the chain 55 as round one. So it's up to you how many rounds you want to do but I'm going to go ahead and continue working three more rounds and I'll show you how the bag looks like and we'll fasten up. So all we need to do is work one single crochet for three rounds and we'll fasten off and move on from there. So here we're done working on our straps and our sides are all done. So here I have my last single crochet that I worked and what I'm going to do is go into this stitch right here and just slip stitch and chain one and let's fasten off so next thing what we need to do is just work on our two tails and we're all done let's go ahead and work on this one first I'm just gonna go ahead and put my tapestry needle through and just go in the back and just find stitches go back like so and one more time okay let's cut our tail this one is done and I believe there's one more in the middle right over here so let's tighten it as much as we can put a needle through and just find stitches go back and one more time like so and cut our yarn tail and we're done so here's our finished bag thank you so much for watching please like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time